Hey Brick Maniacs, welcome back to another Friday sit rep. Um, as you can see, we got a nice lineup of pre-orders here. Three different designers to check in with. So let's kick things over to the design room right now and hear from Nate, Brennan, and Mary Will. All right, so we're checking in with Brennan because we've got a new BF-110. Uh, tell me a little bit about this aircraft. I hear we've got some incredible camo printing coming our direction. Yeah, so Nicholas did a great job in both creating the build, I'm, I'm really impressed with the layout that he's got here, mm -hmm. and with the art that he's given us that he's expecting for it. So you're going to have a full, like, um, the early war uh, camo spotted uh, print going on mm -hmm. all along the side of this aircraft, huh. as well as the, um, the wasp head going at the front here, just to give it that really distinct look on the sure. front. Um, you're also going to get printed Balkenkreuz on both of the wings. Mm -hmm. And it's it's gonna be nutty. Wow. It's, there's a lot to it. Uh, the build itself, like I said, it's really impressive. I'm loving all of the detail work he's done here from getting all of your separate antenna. Yeah. Slapped on the underside of this thing. That's one thing you notice right away is just oh, the absolutely. fact that it's got a lot of little bells and whistles pretty much all over the place. And yeah, like you were saying, the build itself is cool enough and the printing just takes it up to that next level. It's wow. so nutty. Yeah, he's got, uh, he's got the lovely uh, brick build for the guns mm -hmm. up in front. Um, those engines. Engines, too. Phenomenal. Look at those. Mm -hmm. Look at the exhaust on those things. Brought the drop tanks, which is not something I've seen super frequently on these things, mm -hmm. but it's, it happens sometimes. You mm -hmm. get that extra range. Um, Plus, they look sweet. They do. <laughs> it's just it just looks mean, mm -hmm. honestly. Got that split tail. It's actually it's it's kind of bigger than you would think. You want to hold it up real it quick really here, just because it's it's. Uh, it's only a two-seater plane, but it is, it's kind of got some heft to it. It seriously does. Mm -hmm. I mean, you would think going up one number in the BF right. line, <laughs> yeah, you right. wouldn't go so intensely. What do you mean that's the 110? What happened to the 109? <laughs> yeah, right. I thought we were just taking two of them and slapping them together. No, that's the 109Z. <laughs> right, right. We stayed on that number. So, yeah, there's a lot of really impressive building. And, I mean, the man's after my own heart with the, with the brick-built radio mm -hmm. that he's got sitting between the pilot and the gunner. It's kind of hard to, if, if you don't know the plane, you don't understand that sure. necessarily. But, like, I look at that and I'm just like, oh. <laughs> One aircraft nut to another, I appreciate it. it. That's it. Yes. Oh, so. Very, very cool. Very so there impressive. it is, the BF-110 available right now on pre-order. Check out the website for a closer look at that crazy camo scheme. Brennan, thanks for checking in. All right, we're checking in with Nate once again because we've got a third Army Sherman to take a look at, and this thing looks fully loaded. Yeah, this thing is ready to go. It's not too much stowage like the Firefly, but mm -hmm. considering that a certain general is going with his tank, yes. and he's very pristine. Like, It's weird because Patton was like oddly formal. Like He ordered his troops like wear ties in the battlefield, mm -hmm. and like some of the big red one soldiers in the battlefield like, you want us wearing tight? You're lucky if you're you're lucky if we're gonna be wearing clothes. Like it's the <laughs> desert, <laughs> right? So tell me a little bit more about what we got going on here with the Third Army one. Okay, so printing all over, front gear, bunch of Fourth Armored uh, Division printing over here on the panels. The whole turret's gonna be printed. Mm -hmm. Is it gonna be a little printed hatch? Uh, wow. Uh, I did the man uh, I, I uh, borrowed Katya's mantlet technique to have mm -hmm. this a bit more rounded. But yeah, um, overall, it's a simple sturdy build. It comes with a little turret. It comes with an M2HB. Mm -hmm. Sort. Of, this is kind of an army builder sort of sense if you want to build up your fourth armored. Sure. But it's it's got a good feel to it, and I do plan on doing a whole Sherman lineup because I've been telling everyone at the office that, and they want me to shut up. <laughs> but yeah, this is just the start of something that I plan to do sometime in my long term here. But yeah, this is a really good build, and I recommend it if you're looking to have that Sherman itch. Yeah, very, very cool. Another one excited to see back into the lineup, and as we said, it's going to be cool to have that uh, Pat minifig and Willie as well to go with it. So definitely one oh, Cadillac yeah, of a kit. Yes, absolutely. Nate, thanks for checking in, man. Thank you. All right, Brick Maniacs, we're checking in once again with Mary Wilson, taking a closer look at the T26 light tank for Barbarossa Bricks, uh, Comrade Katia build. Um, what a turret. <laughs> that this thing has on it. I mean, man, look at that yes. thing. That's pretty wild looking. This antenna is crazy. I'm glad that this is the model that she decided to build <laughs> because I love it. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> yeah, we were talking about um, how the antenna and also these like lights and the stuff eyeballs. Are, like, yeah, right. It looks like <laughs> some sort of mosquito y guy. Right. Going on. Uh, yeah, we, we had fun talking about that. <laughs> yeah, I'm really glad this is the model she chose though, because honestly, this flex tubing, it, it works like super well to sure. get that um, effect in there. So, 
yeah, that turret. <laughs> what an absolutely wild looking tank. You know, I was, uh, when we were taking a closer look at this, it was kind of like, you've, you've really gotten a crash course in a whole bunch of different angles on really teeny chassis, because once again, this is a, this is a fairly small tank, but there is so much going on, literally from the suspension all the way up to just the different angles that the, that the chassis has in it. Yeah. Kind of a, kind of yet another challenge in that regard, I assume, huh? Yeah, for sure. Um, but again, like she did such a great job with this, even like this angle, like mm -hmm. she, like it's so simple, but at the same time, like inside, like it all like has to work together well, mm -hmm. but, um, it's using a bracket and that's at an angle and that's like sturdy enough mm -hmm. that it can hold all of this. Um, which that I just really like how clean it looks. Yeah. Um, instead of like sometimes like you step things to get the angle in there, but mm -hmm. um, it's just like a really clean line. I think it makes the whole tank like look really smooth. Um, yeah. Also like back's angle, the front's angle, so mm -hmm. it's all like coming off at different places. Um, we've got a lot of I don't know. It's fully loaded on the back and yeah. on the sides with like various tools and mm -hmm. like spare tracks and a spare wheel. Um, we're gonna get some printing. I believe this is a big vent in the back, mm -hmm. um, so for the engine. Um, same with this, We're, we got printing on both of those. Um, I believe we also have some numbers, some like turret markings, so mm -hmm. that will be cool. Um, yeah, just overall like really packed in. Yeah, like the, the suspension on this is kind of crazy, but it's like very bold in real life. Like, yeah, right. It's really, <laughs> I don't, you couldn't like not do that, so pretty happy with how it turned out. Yeah, very, very cool. And obviously a very, very unique model and one that transitioned super well into Lego, an awesome design and a pre-order that we're excited to see in its final completion. Mary, thanks for checking in. All right, so obviously a lot to get excited about. This uh, this PF110 is a really, really awesome looking model. It's got a top down model. view of that. Yeah. Check it out. Crew of two. And that front port profile is kind of cool. Mm-hmm. Front profile, is that right? Side profile? Head on look. Head on? Yeah. Whatever Where's you want profile to say. always the side? I don't know what Those. I'm talking about. Anyways, yes, cool model. Mm -hmm. Like the uh, the overall wing design. Yeah. Yeah, there's a there's a lot to lot to like about this bad boy. Moving on, we got the T26. Well, once again, these are all Barbarossa bricks with the exception of the of the Patton Sherman. So this is the T26, gotta get to the Russian stuff sooner or later, right? This is a little light tank. Um, I think part of the reasoning for just behind this model was how cool that turret Yeah. <laughs> I mean, look at that thing. That's awesome. It is definitely a very unique look to it. Mm -hmm. I like kind of the simulated muzzle brake with those brick arms clips. Even the headlights, it looks like it has a face. <laughs> the phone to hold the, you know what I mean? It's like there's just such, so much cool design packed into such a teeny little tank. Yeah, there's, there's definitely a ton of character here. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. yeah. I think Mary has gotten really used to working with a whole lot of different angles on very, very small chassis and turrets, and that has definitely translated well into her working with outside designers to be able to bring these, uh, bring these models to, to yeah. life, because that's pretty awesome. Yep. Yeah, that's cool. And then finally, the one that I wouldn't shut up about earlier, Heavily in its prototype phase, once again, because it doesn't have any of the figures, it doesn't have any of the printing, it literally doesn't even have its brick arms M2HB <laughs> or the little front. Uh, so this is more of an announcement than anything. Kind of, but it is available right now yeah. if you want to get it on pre-order, but it is an official partnership with the Tank, Mu the tank Museum, huh, different guys, the Patton Museum, um, to create this Third Army Sherman that will indeed feature a, uh, a General Patton minifig along with Willie. Um, this is kind of kicking off a, a new line of things that we want to be able to, to bring to BrickMania.com. And uh, I think that it's going to be really cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't want to give away too much. Right. I'm like trying to hold my words back here a little bit, but like, dang, uh, you know, this is definitely a cool one to start off and just, you know, know that moving forward, it's going to get even more exciting. So we're really, really pumped to be working with, with, with such an iconic licensure because mm -hmm. obviously, I mean, patent is patent. Right. right. I mean, it, it's been really fun working with and exciting to work with the, uh, the, the vehicle, the aircraft manufacturers, like officially licensed. Yeah. But this is kind of like, this is, a, this is a, a, another step beyond that even. Mm -hmm. um, this is the actual, you know, patent family. Right. You know, whoever's, they're maintaining his, uh, his estate. estate. Mm -hmm. So it's cool to be able to work with uh, <laughs> such a famous figure, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really, really excited to see where this continues to go. Looks like we might have some 
Once again, prototype, prototype model. I haven't touched this thing, so if it's got some gapping that you're like, what the heck is that there for? That's know terrible. that it, yeah, I was gonna say it, no. it, it will look good. Check out the renders on the website because um, they'll they'll have them all completed and ready to go for what the the final model will look like. But the Third Army Sherman, very very excited. Also available, <clears throat> LCA, LCM three. Both landing craft are shipping this week. I know we still have them in our prototype phase. That's because our printers are still hard at work and making sure that the display models are ready to go. And the Chicago one got away from us. Oh, so no. we're still working with the GHQ one, which needs its printed elements still. But you can totally check it out on the website. And then once again, we'll obviously get around to a designer's desk with both of these guys soon enough so that we're able to, uh, to get these shown off in their fully printed and crewed up glory. Because we don't even have many figures to talk about, which is kind of a bummer. But that's Next okay. Time. We'll get them, we'll get them. If you've got it in your hands or it's shipping this week to you, you know, you'll be able to check it out and you'll see before everyone else how dang cool it is because you got in on the pre-order. There you go. There you have it. That is the lineup for this week. I believe that is everything. Let me double check here. Oh, my goodness, it's not even close to everything because we have a whole bunch of stuff that hasn't hit the printers yet. So silly me. Let's run through some renders here. So this one I know we were really, really exciting for for Juneteenth. Uh, we did a Civil War 62nd USCT Corporal along with a perfect caliber uh, cap lock musket. So that's pretty cool. Can yeah, that was that was awesome. That? I um, just finished up the artwork for that a little bit ago. Um, nice being able to kind of change gears again to like a different theme that we don't cover super often. So mm -hmm. that, that Civil War is, uh, I mean, having to do a lot of research, um, some of the stuff for the first time. A lot of the stuff actually in that uniform uh, for the first time. So mm -hmm. that was a, a, a really awesome uh, design challenge and, uh, and a really good history lesson as well for me. Um, and I hope that it, uh, I hope that whoever's picking this up enjoys it as much as I enjoyed it yeah. um, putting this together for you. So I think it's a really cool bundle. Um, and obviously for Juneteenth, it, mm -hmm. it fits perfectly. So that was really cool to see. Um, also, available, we have a minifigure designed by MNR Girl, and that's Mad Jack. Yes. With that awesome custom printed sword. Yeah. Uh, th this one, this was great. Um, so if you haven't seen it yet, there is a uh, Amanda um, MNR Girl put together a really beautiful comic for our mm -hmm. magazine. And um, so I've, and the minifigure came up on the, on the project list and I was like, you know, what better person to, uh, to take a stab at it than uh, Amanda with that awesome uh, uh, cartoon. So um, the, the, the figure turned out great. The, all those 3D printed elements, um, just it's it's overall uh, a really iconic uh, minifigure and yeah agreed sorry for burying the lead on those because they likely went very very fast so if you didn't know they were coming and you reached this point in the video where Dylan finally remembered to get around to them you're probably like thanks a lot dude why do I watch these videos but they are available <laughs> we'll bring them back eventually <laughs> why do I watch if you if you relied on me to be that make sure you're signed up for our email and, and pay attention on Instagram yes. because I'm, I'm not as efficient as either of those sources um, and then finally, the last thing we have on our list is a Perfect Caliber Brick Arms G43 rifle, which is just kind of another one that we've needed to round out the inventory of, mm -hmm. of available Perfect Calibers. There we go. There you have it. That's the rundown for this Friday. Remember, on the 25th, coming up next week, next Friday, is when we will officially announce the winners. As you can see, we've already been posting um, some cool stuff to Instagram, Facebook, etc., to let people sound off on what they think of these mocks, and then coming up on the 25th, we will make the official uh, announcement of the, the five various winners. Do a fun little build up, you know? Yeah. yeah. It'll be really, really cool. So we're excited for that. And then remember the next um, mock contest theme is 1941. That'll be wrapping up in January, or in December. Anything else? All right, what are you gonna build for 41? You're not allowed to yeah. enter, but yeah, you, no, you can I'm still totally not allowed to enter. Maybe I'll do something in micro scale. I've done that in the past for a couple of them, just one that we actually have time to build. Two stud wide micro build. Two stud it's, wide. It's a, a tank. It's a tank, because he said so. It's world a of, tank. This is World War II tank by, yes. by Dylan Zen. Yes. That's about the level of building I'm on, to be totally that, that's honest. A, that's a one by two with a cheese slope on top. It's a World War II tank. World War II because tank. Because I said so. It's not even an actual country. What the imagination sees is. Oh, what you made a, you you made a few of them. Mm -hmm. That's very nice. Yes. Just line them all up. It's, it's, you're almost uh, a full-size diorama. It's wonderful. It's okay, I made a World War tank, two tank as well, so it's the exact same. I copied off of you. If, you. if you don't know what we're talking about when we say World War II tank, jump on the Brickmania blog, scroll back through the archives and check out some of Dan's really, really, really early builds, like right after the medieval era. 
uh, and you'll see World War II tank there. <clears throat> what it is in real life, it's completely up to you. It's up to you, it's World <laughs> War II. All right, you done? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, thanks for watching.